guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a sephora haul and mini reviews for you guys so worth the money and what's not so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump into the products so ignore my hair in this video it looks a mess so we're just gonna ignore that but yeah so i want to let you guys know the products i picked up i obviously don't really shop at sephora i really like drugstore makeup so i usually don't like to splurge on things unless they're really good so i'm gonna let you guys know what's worth the money and what i think you should pick up worth the money i'm gonna let you guys know what i think a dupe might be so i have had these products for about three weeks now and i've been testing them out so i'll give you guys a mini review on most of the products and i pretty much have opinions for all of them so far at 195 dollars and i got six things products were mini products so just keep that in mind they weren't even full-size products and that's still a lot of money i mean i guess i guess 195 dollars for six things doesn't sound like that much money but when you see how small these products are um you guys can judge if you think they're worth the money but i want to talk about sorry so getting into the first product i want to talk about oh so getting into the first product i want to talk about the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream this is the color correcting full coverage cream this is an anti-aging hydrating serum and this has spf 50 in it so it looks like this i got this in the shade medium and they do have a lot of shades online which is great so this says it helps prevent sunburns um used as directed with other sun protection measures and it says apply 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least every two hours it says it it says it's a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating so i have not tried this while swimming i have tried this while sweating though um so i've heard a lot of things about this for so many years and i know they have different um formulas so they have this one which is just the regular but they also have the hydrating one and i believe a matte one so i just got the regular one because i have more um combo skin and i just wanted like a natural finish so the most cc creams aren't super full coverage but this one is so this one is like a real foundation which is great so if you're looking for something to wear to the beach that has spf in it and it has spf 50 which is good um and you want a lot of coverage this is really good for you so i think it does last a long time on the skin i think it does have good coverage i think it's nice that it has spf and i think it wore well on my skin but honestly it's very similar to other foundation i use and that foundation also has spf in it and it's half the price it's way cheaper and i just i wasn't really amazed by this product i thought it was good i didn't think it was anything special though and i don't know it was worth 40 dollars i've tried many foundations and i just can't spend 40 dollars on a foundation when i have drugstore foundations that are 15 dollars and under and are way better and they're half the price so if you want to try out a cc cream then i think you can try it out but honestly this isn't even like a cc cream like this looks like you're wearing makeup this doesn't look like extremely natural like it has coverage so it looks like you're wearing a foundation so you might as well just get a foundation from the drugstore that has spf in it and that also has coverage because you're essentially getting the same thing so that's my take on this product i don't think it's bad at all i think if you really like it and you want to spend the money on something high-end that's great um this was more of a natural finish but it definitely pulled more towards the matte side and i even put on a hydrating primer under this and it was still kind of matte so maybe if you're into really illuminating foundations try the illuminating one if you have super super oily skin you can try the matte one but like i said for me this was not worth the money i want to return this and i'm going to see if i can if you like this foundation that's perfectly fine you know i'm not saying you don't you shouldn't like it or it's bad or anything this personally just didn't really wow me and i don't think it's worth the money moving on though a product that i do think is worth the money is the laneige lip sleepy mask and i got the flavor i guess in apple lime so it looks like this so i've been wanting this for a really really long time i've heard so many great things about this product it's supposed to essentially just be a lip mask but they call it a lip sleeping mask and it's supposed to hydrate your lips overnight and supposed to keep them super soft and super nice and supposedly it works better than all other lip balms blah blah so they have like the original flavor which is like strawberry but i think they came out with other ones and they also have like lip balm versions those are called the glowy lip balms so i have tried those in the past they were again it's a more expensive lip balm i think that lip balm was like 17 dollars and i liked it but like i said it just didn't wow me so i was really intrigued to try this one because this one came out first and this one is a super popular one so i'll show you guys what it looks like inside i already used it but it looks like that 
honestly I really love this smell it smells again like apple lime and it just it smells really good so if you're into good smells you know that's a plus that's some points already I really like the packaging it also comes with this really cute little spatula for your lips that I like um it's over there though so I'm not gonna grab it but I like that it comes with that so you don't have to dip your finger in it um so I've been using this most nights and I think it is really good I think this was $20 so I think it is really good you get a good amount of product and you don't need a lot it's not super thin but it isn't super thick either it looks really glossy um it is a very moisturizing lip balm and i think it does moisturize your lips really nicely and i really like the scent it feel too thick or sticky but it's also thick enough to actually moisturize your lips and it's not just like a super cheap chapstick which i absolutely hate so i think this is really good i think this is worth the money i think if you really like lip balms you want your lips to be soft like i hope you all do then you should get this for sure i really like it um i feel like it's gonna take me a long time to run out of it too because there's so much product so I would definitely pick this up again, and I want to try the other flavors, and yeah, so definitely a keeper in my opinion. But another product I got was the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Rose Latte. So I've been hearing a lot of things about this cream blush formula. She just came out with a whole bunch of different colors, so I wanted to try it out. Um, I only have one other cream blush, and it's from Maybelline. It's from the drugstore, and it's okay. So I kind of wanted to try a more higher-end one and see if it compared or if it looked better. So this is what the shade looks like. So when you first get it, it does look really dark, but when you swatch it and you blend it out, it blends out to a really nice rosy, bronzy color. So it looks like that blended out. It's super creamy and super easy to blend, so I like that. So I think it is a nice color. I think it's really pretty if you want like a bronzy, glowy cheek, nothing too pink. Um, I think this is a really good color for both the winter and the summer. So I like that. It's extremely small. Like, it is... I don't know how to show you guys. This is just, like, extremely small. And this was around $20. So for me, this size is just, like, extremely small for $20. Like, I don't know. You couldn't have given us more? Like, what? Okay. So, again, if you really like this product, size isn't a big deal. But for me... If I'm paying that much for a blush, I would just hope it would be bigger or like at least a standard size blush. So a con for me since it is so damn small. Um, but I do like this color. I am still trying to figure out what brush or application works best for it. Um, I have used it a few times with a brush in my fingers. And I think a stippling brush, like a dual fiber brush, would work best with this product. Because you don't want to rub away the other products on your face. Which I don't think this does but I think if you use the wrong tool it could possibly mess up your makeup underneath so just be aware of what you're using um and it does work well with your fingers so I think this is a good product I just think you have to figure out a way to work with it and the application but yeah so I'm gonna keep trying it out but I do really like this color and I think this will be an essential for like a summer glowy makeup look or like a super easy makeup look um so yeah and it comes with a mirror so that is a plus since a lot of products don't come with a mirror but yeah so if you want to test it out i also want to test out her cream bronzers i feel like i'll like those a lot better because one i love bronzers be a little bit easier to use so if you're looking for a cream bronzer i heard her cream bronzers by fenty are really good a small product that i picked up was another mini so this was an hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in the shade luminous bronze light so again look how small this is yes this is a mini so i'm not saying it shouldn't be small but this is like I don't know this is just like for how much money this was this is so damn small i believe this was like 25 dollars or something but this is what it looks like so it is a bronzer but it does look very highlighty when you swatch it i don't know if you guys can see it it's right here so yeah basically it does look like a highlighter when you swatch it so that kind of threw me off in the beginning but then i put it on my face and it did give me a bronzy glow but again for the money i do not think this product is worth it i think you can find a cheaper alternative at the drugstore of a glowy bronzer that has shimmer in it or like these little lines in it for example the milani bronzers i'm not sure what they're called exactly but i'll link them down below but they're the same idea they're like a mix of like um lighter colors and darker colors like highlighters and bronzers put together and they essentially do the same thing and they are half the price and they are huge so for me this just wasn't doing it for me the size i think the packaging is really nice but the color like i said it just didn't do anything special for my skin it just like bronzed up my face like any other bronzer would from the drugstore so this is worth the money so 
that's just my opinion um, if you guys have any other recommendations of glowy bronzers from sephora or high end let me know down below i would love to hear about them like and sorry mine's kind of dirty because like i said i've been using these products i got the patrick tall lip gloss this is the major glow lip shine it is the most beautiful glowy lip gloss it yeah it's super glowy and this is in the shade she's expensive and yes she was for a lip gloss no but i think this lip gloss was like 20 dollars. so yeah that is kind of pricey but i think it's super pretty and i honestly just bought it because i thought the packaging was really pretty and i don't know i mean look at it it's just super glowy and i just thought it was really nice so it is just basically a clear gloss with glitter in it and yeah, you can totally find this at the drugstore, but I want to try this one out because Patrick Tot is a celebrity makeup artist, if you didn't already know that. And he has a lot of products out right now. Um, I haven't tried anything else from him, but I have heard really great things about his other products. So I want to first start off with the lip gloss. But yeah, it's basically just a clear gloss with some sparkles in it. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks more nude when I swatch it. But yeah, I think it's a really pretty gloss. It gives your lips um, shine it smells good it smells super sweet and if you're willing to drop $20 on a lip gloss I think you would like this it's, it's not sticky it lasts a good amount of time on the lips so yeah I think this is a pretty gloss I like it I mean I love all nude glosses so I figured I would last two products are skincare products so like I said I usually use very affordable skincare makeup all that so i kind of want to try some new products from sephora that were more expensive so both of these products are super popular and i've heard great things about them so i want to give them a try so the first one is the ole hendrickson glow oh dark spot toner and it looks like this and again i got the mini version of this because i wasn't sure if i was going to like this so i spent a lot of money on it so this is basically a facial toner so a youtuber diana saldana i believe her name is she was talking about this and she uses this on her dark spots and her acne scars and her skin cleared up extremely fast so i have a lot of acne scars or i believe that's what they are i'm honestly not sure but that's what i believe they are on my face that have gone haven't gone away in years so i was hoping that this would help transform my skin like the bottle says um so i honestly have not been using this for long i've only used it twice because i needed to buy cotton rounds to use it so so far it hasn't really irritated my skin it feels a little tingly after you put it on but nothing too crazy uh, I haven't seen a difference yet and but like I said it's only I've only used it for like two days um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this product but for her it worked really well and the reviews were really good and it was sold out for a good amount of time on Sephora so I'll keep you guys updated on this but if you want to try out a toner that will help you with your acne scars or dark spots, I think this one might possibly work for you. What I want to talk to you guys about is a face mask. So this is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Face Mask in this super pretty blue bottle. So again, this is a super popular product. I've heard this product from so many different people on Instagram, on YouTube, and it's been sold out again on Sephora for a while. So like I said, I did buy a mini version because I'm cheap and I don't want to waste my money on things that I might not like. So dry skin, apply a thin layer with fingertips. It says leave it on for 10 minutes for max hydration, blot with a warm cloth if necessary. So on, the, it's weird. So on the bottle, it explains leave it on for 10 minutes, but on the box, which I think I threw away, it says you can use it as an overnight mask um, and wash it off in the morning or, and just use a thin layer. So I think if you want to use like a thicker layer, for like super maximum hydration leave it on for 10 minutes but i think if you're just using a really thin layer you can leave it on as a hydration mask overnight so i have been using it as a hydration mask overnight um and i just put like a super thin layer honestly feels just like moisturizer it is extremely thin um and it melts into your skin really nicely and it has like a cooling peppermint smell so i like that um i do think it moisturizes my skin i know my skin definitely feels softer I don't think it hydrates my skin to the point where my skin is like super glowy when I wake up but I do think my skin feels super soft so I think that is nice if you have dry skin and this might help you if you're if you struggle with your skin feeling rough or textured or just honestly not soft um so I do like it do I think it does amazing results no I think personally for me I kind of want to try their other masks I think they have like 
just different masks targeted towards different things and I think hydration isn't really my hydration isn't really my go-to or like my necessary thing that I'm looking for for my skin so I think I kind of want to try the other mask and I feel like those masks will cater to my skin needs more but I don't think this is bad I think this is good wow me um but I would I'm still going to obviously use it and I'm going to continue to see how it works mask so I do want to try using it like a thicker layer um, and then washing it off. But yeah, most people really like this, so I'm gonna keep giving it a try. I know this brand is really popular, and they have like a really popular lip balm that's out right now. So if you're interested in a lip balm as well, you should try that from them and let me know how you like it. Those were all the products that I picked up from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a short one, and you guys know I'm cheap when it comes to makeup and all that. So I like to stick to my drugstore, so I didn't want to pick up too many things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below how you liked it or any of your Sephora recommendations. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.